right. I'm so I'm, I'm I'm kind of mad that you're getting so many more views right now on your Maybe video. Maybe you should have better, funnier content. It was my idea. And then <laughs> you're just piggybacking onto my idea that I did. It is good though because the trends like those those couple trends piggybacking. You are a little bit. I'm just saying. I started it. You know. You started it. You <laughs> started it. This trend, the one we're doing right now. Are you, which video are you think I'm talking about? I know what video you're talking about. I'm talking about the one of mine that has over a million views. Well, yours has what 150, 150k. <laughs> it is good. How Listen, embarrassing. Yours was good. <laughs> yours was good. But you just copied a uh, one good idea and made it better. I will agree. No, you did really good. But it, it's it's different <laughs> because the trend was. Was so sweet. Yeah, I can't with the cutie couples. And we filmed. I cannot. We filmed that that <laughs> video of like, um, what is it? Th- things that work in our marriage or things, things in, in our, marriage. our marriage that just work for us. We tried to film it like. That sounded so shitty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I sound so jaded and bitter. Golly. No, but we tried to film it like everybody else for like four times. And it. Because it's sweet. It's cute. It I want to participate. Because it's just, wholesome. It just never came out good for us. Like, I want to be sweet feel, and wholesome. I, and it might be. I mean, it just didn't feel good, though. Like, every time we tried, it just wasn't it. So Because we're not sweet and wholesome. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm pretty sweet. Speak for oh, yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're sweet. <laughs> I think the internet would uh, beg to differ there. But no, I think what we ended up finally realizing is, like, you just every trend that, that is out there, we have to figure out a way to make it our own. Because I don't think we fit it feels, in well it with the rest of the... It feels disingenuous yeah. any other way. We tried to be sweet about it, and like them, but I think part of leaves we don't have like really strict, like I do this and you do that most of the time. No, like we have a few things that like most of the time you handle, most of the time I handle. Like I would say, like maybe two or three, but it, it, but they're really not even well, entertaining. I you think know? it's also hard because our roles have shifted some within the last you know six months or so. Yeah, typically like. It, uh, usually, like how we've always kind of ran our marriage is I've been a stay at home mom, so I handle like all the household chores and responsibilities. Like that's yeah, and you like pay the bills, work on the cars, mow the grass, do the outside stuff, take the trash out, like that kind of thing. Um, and I do all the cleaning inside, which is to- which has been totally fine because I've never worked. And now that regardless of what people on the internet say, because God, people are real shitty about that. They're like, you're a stay at home <laughs> mom. It sounds like that's the least you can fucking do. Oh my God, shut well, up. Well, no, you have a job now, and of course, I have a job, so and, we've, and we... I work. The last year, it's been just like we all we pull our own weight. Like whatever needs to get done, we try to figure it out. Like the other night, at randomly, put these kids to work doing some damn chores. <laughs> oh yeah, we no, are definitely we... about chores for kids. All of our kids have chores. Wash they have a to dish. keep their own. You know, clean up after yourself. Um, mom don't be floor. like your mom. Clean your room. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about this last week. We're moving on. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. While we're here, while we're here, do us a favor: like the podcast, review it. Unless you're review is bad then shut up i don't care um (laughs) share it with a friend comment on it i don't know maybe subscribe think about it you might like it i don't know (laughs) we hope you do it is episode two of the roast of us episode two of the roast of us we're excited to get into it we've got um an interesting topic i think to talk about today we're gonna try to go into um kind of like our life as as a TikTok couple. <laughs> As a TikTok couple. Like, <laughs> what we what we have to go through, like, how we do things that we do, um, what it's like having our lives all, of our trials all and, over the internet. All of our trials our and tribulations. Our relationship all over the internet. I mean, obviously, there's limits, but we, we want to kind of dive into that a little bit because we have a lot of people ask about it on our TikTok, um, and that's where most of our audience is going to come from, so. Originally. Maybe yeah. we can, you know, find some I mean, right now, I'm assuming that, that's where, where people... most of the people are going to, the audience is going to transfer from. I feel um, like just starting us out the first two weeks, they get to know us, and then, well, here this is more in-depth of, like, actually what we do and kind of how this whole thing works. Yeah. But before, before we get into any of that, Cody is going to be out of town this week. Cody is leaving this week and is going to Nashville, Tennessee for the first time by himself. Oh. Or not by himself, um, unchaperoned by me. Since the infamous scooter incident in October of 21. It's literally one of my favorite stories. <laughs> <laughs> and he's he will not be alone because Anthony and Justin, like two of his co-workers and best friends, will be there with him. But I will not. It is the first time I've gone. It is the fr- like without you. If you are not familiar with the scooter incident, let me just give you like a shortened synopsis of what happened. This 
dumb motherfucker here goes to Nashville on a work trip, mind you. And one night they like get out of this meeting thing and you're free and you're ready to go and you hop on a bird scooter. First mistake. I was told they were very, very fun. I was told to do it. It was the best way to get around downtown. I don't know why they would have told you that. Hops on a scooter, falls off said scooter, breaks his kneecap, dislocates his shoulder, tears his meniscus, LCL, PCL. This seems like an oversimplification of what happened. Yeah, yeah that, that's not what happened. That's not what happened. <laughs> okay, Tony, Cody, would you please enlighten the audience? Please tell, please tell me your side of the story. Okay, here. so well, I mean, don't get me wrong. In its basis, you were correct. I did fall off of a scooter. That's what you did. But I rode around on that scooter for a while. Um, and if you've been to Nashville recently or like in the last like three years, you know. Ten that, years. Yeah, it, it is <laughs> road construction everywhere. So I was trying to get to the other side of downtown looking for different ways. Well, obviously, when you're riding a scooter, you don't have the ability to like look at your phone or, or follow maps. So I'm just kind of kind of guessing about which roads to turn on and where to go. Well, I accidentally turned on to like a main road. So the speed limit went from the, the you know, 20, 25 mile an hour speed limit that you see downtown with like scooter lanes and everything like that to immediately <laughs> no shoulder. Like you was about to about have <laughs> 55 mile an hour speed limit and like straight downhill. And uh, my problem was you think, get Cody, get on the sidewalk. It's safe there. You don't have to worry about the cars. Well, the sidewalk was being completely reconstructed. So As they do in Nashville. I am right on the edge of the road and cars are flying by me. Everyone in Nashville seems to be over the scooter thing. Also, they were, Nashville drivers, they I'm going on the record, Nashville down. drivers are the worst drivers in America. Listen, and I want that on the record. Yeah, they weren't slowing down. <laughs> they weren't getting over. They were just like, if he dies, he dies. If I hit him, <laughs> this is the way it happens, you know? So I finally see that the sidewalk is clearing up. And I'm like, oh, well, I better get on the sidewalk because this is dangerous. So I uh, swerve over onto the sidewalk. And right as I get on the sidewalk, I see that two sections forward there is no more sidewalk it went there's an, a section just gone and your thought process uh, yeah well and i'm was. going you know it's it's a pretty steep downhill I, I you know and i know it doesn't sound like very fast but like 25 to 30 miles an hour no. on those little things Hell no. and uh so i make the decision to see if i can run out of it because i know the scooter's going down i'm like i'm either going to go down with the scooter or i'm going to try to run out of this thing so um the scooter's <laughs> the scooter hits the thing and i try to like jump off and i i do uh, fairly well for two steps. Um, one, two, and I'm like, ah, I've got this. And on the third one, I trip. And when I trip, I flip and I try to do a roll. So I kind of tuck my head. I roll onto my shoulder like when I hit the hero. ground. My No, <laughs> a superhero would have just ran out of it <laughs> or just like jumped and like landed. No, I <laughs> fell, hit my shoulder, dislocated it. And when I flipped back around, I tried to catch myself and I missed my feet and I landed on my knee. Broke the kneecap. My knee like flipped sideways and oh, like tore some ligaments. Shut up. Shut and up. yeah, very painful. And <laughs> I'm bleeding. I'm scraped up on my side. And I crawl to the edge of the, the road and I lean on one of those big, um, like massive, you know, barricades, the orange ones you see in road construction. And I'm just <laughs> leaning against it. And uh, no cars slowed down. Nobody stopped. Just one dude from across the street was like, You all right? I was like, yeah. He was like, shouldn't have rode that scooter and just kept walking. <laughs> so I'm laying there thinking like, oh, dude, this this hurt. I'm hurting pretty bad. Uh, that was dumb. But I'm like, I, I'll be fine, right? So I try to stand up and it's hurting. I'm like, okay, not going to do that. And uh, I was headed to Hattie B's, I think is what it's called. Not Hattie B's. Something, there's a Nashville chicken place. Hattie that's B's, real popular. hot chicken. I think it's not Hattie it B's. Something like that. Somebody can, somebody. It's a, it's a hot chicken place that's really popular downtown Fire. Nashville. Everybody seems to like it. Um, and I was like, I don't know. Yes, Hattie B's feet. hot chicken. Yeah, that Hattie B's hot chicken. 50 feet or so from, from you Hattie B's. You called me before you left. You oh, yeah, called I did me. FaceTime you while he, sitting on the no, ground. No, no, he, he doesn't FaceTime me first. He calls me on the phone. And he's like, I fell off a scooter. And I'm like, what do you mean you fell off of a scooter? He's like, I, I think I'm hurt pretty bad. And I'm like, Cody, like, did you get hit by a car? Are you okay? First of all, how's the scooter? Am I going to have to pay for the shit? It was actually my first concern was having to pay for the damn bird scooter that I thought you broke. He did not break it. I did not break the scooter. Oh, well, but you were I, acting like you were worse, like relatively okay. This I was is like, the well, worst why don't you case. go to the doctor and get checked out? And you're like, no, 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 I'm fine. I'm just going to sleep it off. One of the Whatever, worst, idiot. One of the worst things is I didn't actually stop the scooter ride. 
And I don't know if you guys know how those things work, but like you pay until you stop. So even Cody. I, yeah, we ended up paying like one hundred and twenty five dollars for that scooter ride too because did he FaceTime me from the ground? Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I was laying. Well, not on the ground. <laughs> I, I was I face, leaned up against the I orange FaceTime, thing. He calls me. And I'm on the phone with him, and I said, click, and then press the FaceTime button. And I was like, <laughs> what in the hell is going on here? He's in the road. I'm not in the road. I was on, like, the the construction side of the Which in Nashville is in the road. And basically, it was close. And uh, she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm going to go to Hattie B's, and and uh, I'm going to try to walk this off. Well, I'm pissed. We're supposed to be moving into our house. <laughs> so this house that we're living in right now, we were not living in at the time. We were supposed to be moving out of our rent house and moving into this house. And I didn't know how injured you were. Like, I'm like... We weren't supposed to be moving in. Let's be very clear. We were supposed to be remodeling. Finishing the remodel so we could get moved in in like 90% two weeks. of the remodeling was still yet to be done. Yeah, I had no kitchen, no bathroom. But before we get to the the that part of the horrible story, uh, I do make it to Hattie B's. I crawl into Hattie B's. I stand up with the railing. I limp in. I sit down in the closest bench to me. The waitress walks up. I am bleeding from my head, my shoulder, my elbow. She looks at me and goes, Scooter, huh? <laughs> and I, the, like this, these scooters are notorious in Nashville. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I fell off a scooter. So she's like, well, what do you want? You want to call an ambulance? I was like, no. Um, I want two shots of tequila, a beer, and some wings. I'm, I'm going to make it. I'm, I, I'm just going to walk this off. And I did. I took, I took two shots of tequila. I drank a beer. I uh, I ate like 25 wings because they were so good. <laughs> ordered a second round. Um, ordered another tequila shot for the road, which sounds bad, but I needed it to move. Here's the problem. I had to get back to my car, which was a mile and a half away. And I guess I could have probably called an Uber, but in my infinite wisdom, I decided I'll just one leg ride a scooter back. <laughs> so you hopped on a scooter again. <laughs> so I got back on a scooter <laughs> And I and I rode uh, I rode the scooter all the way back to my car. You let me know when you get back to the hotel. I got back to the hotel and I was moving around okay, probably the alcohol and adrenaline pumping through my system. And I lay down in my hotel bed and I'm like, I'll be fine by the morning. I've had I've 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 fallen before. I've had bruises and scrapes. I'll be fine. Um, around six o'clock, I wake up. Six a.m. He calls me. Oh, no, no, no. I haven't called you yet. Trust me. I was going to try to walk it off first. I tried to wake up and dummy. I tried to wake up and, and like roll out of bed. And the pain was 20 times what it was the night before. And I was like, oh, man, that leg is not feeling good. I throw the covers off. My leg has swollen to the size of my my knee is is all the way down to like the ankle area is just the size uh-huh. of my thigh. Just completely swollen. Like my my leg was massive. So I take the rolly chair out of the, the office and I sit in it. I use it as a wheelchair. Luckily, it was all plastic. And honestly, I might have ruined it. But I rolled it all the way into the shower. And I just washed all the blood and everything off of me. And I realized in that moment. I'm not walking this off. No. <laughs> this is not going to walk off so at all. I just want to add in right here. <clears throat> The last time I heard you, I heard from you, you were getting out of the car and you said, man, these scooters are so fun. And I'm not going <laughs> to lie. I was jealous. I was like, man, because you, you said, I'm yeah, going to call you back. Yeah, you were with him. I wasn't with him. And no, he said, I'm going to call you back and let you know how fun it was. And I didn't hear anything back. I went, dang, it must have been really <laughs> freaking <me>. fun. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, the- you're in an office chair in a shower. <laughs> <laughs> So I do call my wife and I'm like, I'm going to need my insurance card. I'm pissed. Um, First words out of his mouth. Leslie, where's my insurance card? You. I'm hurting pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. First of all, I I would like to go on record saying that I told you to go to the the doctor in the emergency room the night before and get checked out. And you said, no, thank you. I was going to walk it off at the time. That's not smart. He no. goes in, gets checked out, and then has to drive home. They tell him, like, hey, this is broken, dislocated the shoulder. They were able to get your shoulder, like, set yeah, back in place. Yeah, they popped the shoulder back into place. Ah. They, they were going to send me up for, like, to admit me to the hospital. I was like, I'm not getting admitted to the hospital. Well, you were supposed to be coming home that day. You literally drove no, home. No, I wasn't the- supposed to be coming home that day. Oh, I that's called right. You had, a whole yeah. other, you had a whole other, like, day of, like, had, training. Yeah, I had a whole bunch of training left to do. I had to call my boss and be like, so, not going to make it in. I broke my knee last He's night. He's still a joke. Yeah, they still call me Scooter at my corporate office. We got sco- we have scooters in Texter Canada now. Oh, I don't. Why know somebody decided that we needed sco- what we have fascinating enough to be able to ride a scooter around to look at in Texter Canada is beyond me. But they have them, and when they first came in, 
he was the laughing stock of the Fred group. Let me tell yeah, you. Yeah, it was pretty rough. When I and, when I finally heard from him, you may not know this. When I finally heard from him, all I heard was I, I called him and I heard beeps. And it was a sound of a Walmart cart backing target. up. It was, it was target. target. It was Target <laughs> backing up. You called me. Yes, I know. You called me. I was after. crying. I was crying, laughing in tears because he, he he answers the phone. Hey man, how did it go? I went to the emergency room. <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Hey, that's really funny." No, really, what happened? I was in the emergency room. <laughs> yeah. So Anthony, I try to tell Anthony the story, and I'm having a really hard time because he's laughing so loud through the can the, through the phone that I I'm like I can't even get the story out. He's, he got he's, stuck with the car <laughs> with just constant beeping in the background while he's trying to tell me what happened. <laughs> It was broken. I couldn't well, get the car to work. I couldn't walk. I didn't well, have crutches. Was... Him calling me after I talked to you, Anthony calls me dying and is like, Leslie, I have to hear your side of the story on this. Please tell me what you did to this man. And so I tell the story. Anthony cracks up laughing. I told the story to a few more people because, of course, what am I going to do but face him everybody in my life and be like, listen to what my stupid idiot of a husband did. And it got. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go on TikTok and I'm going to tell the story. Fun fact. You know what? Thank you for falling off uh, <laughs> thank you for falling off oh, that was your the knee start of it all because that's the start of that our entire tiktok whatever you weren't really involved you with had like a video then. or two before but that was the one that really really that changed solidified it. yeah that solidified yeah. more i still wasn't i mean after that i still didn't have anything consistent for like a hot minute um but that was the thing that i was like i might that be one got good. you the followers i might be you know good at the, the yeah beginning. that video that like 50, single video got me like fifty thousand followers on tiktok yeah it was definitely pretty, pretty wild I, but I, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> go back up a little bit, Anthony. No, I mean, so overall, though, if you think about it, you actually, I'm thinking about your old videos. I don't think you had a big video that wasn't just shitting on me. That is not true. No, that no, 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 no. I, actually, like your first video, you were talking crap because I bought our daughter a dog. That was the first one. Yeah. The second one, the scooter. Yeah. Didn't like your, like your her persona in the beginning was like a little bit of shit talking your husband and it worked. It Don't worked. Get me wrong. Yeah. And then we, we, then we did the um, uh, husband and wife haul, which well, was I also had, shit talking. No, I had one video before the husband oh. and wife haul that was like, and for when I posted the video, by the way, I posted this video, we were in, where were we, Alabama maybe? And I was in the hotel room and I posted this video. Oh, you're talking no. about the other video. You're talking about the beard, no. the beard video. Yeah. Oh, that has like talking four, about, almost yeah, 14 million. The views biggest on video it. you ever had, but that one's not really talking crap. That was giving me some props. That one was funny. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> pH balance, complete stuff. I just put it that way. No, it's but not uh, true. at right. least that's not how the beard got that way. But it's funny. <laughs> hey, as hell. Never, hey, stop lying to the people. <laughs> <laughs> we are built on honesty and transparency with our followers and our audience. All right, let's get in to the meat Don't and the what? Say meat and potatoes, Cody. If what would I you have call to hear the the main point of the episode, but if I have to hear y'all say That's the meat and potatoes of the episode one more time, I'm I gonna think rip we're my saying the same thing. What do you I think we're saying? Meat and potatoes. Yeah. Okay. This. <laughs> You're not a vegetarian. What are you talking Why about? Why do you hate meat and potatoes? I don't. I hate that stupid. <laughs> saying that you're I love saying, saying it. And since it we is. started this podcast. It's perfect. Yes. It's the perfect term. Let's get into the point okay. of what we're talking <laughs> about. I'm tired of this conversation. I'm moving on. No, I, it is it is an interesting thing we have to try to do because when you when it comes down to it what we've done and what we continue to try to do on like our online personas or whatever you want to call it. Whatever. Is try to stay real. While we're still, but not too real. Well, no, I mean, like, <laughs> but but a lot of these, a lot of the couple trends or like the trends that that TikTok tries to force down your neck. Yeah, because they want you to. They want you to like fall in line with like everybody else. What they don't. They don't feel like how we are. No. So we have to always get like creative in in ways to turn a known trend, something that is going to be popular and that TikTok will push through the algorithm into something that feels natural and real to us because that we feel like we want to be true. You know, if we, we could pretend to be like super nice and sweet all the time and, and like a lot of the other couples, and here's the thing, I don't think there's anything wrong no, and there's with a, the li- no, but a lot. Of, we're no, also no, no, in no. a whole different stage of our relationship than most couples on TikTok are. 
uh, I think. I mean, you know and obviously I mean? people like watching them because some of these people have, I mean, millions and millions yeah, well, and millions of views. I don't like, there's think, nothing wrong with Well, our audience being, is older. Our, like, I, I, I our guarantee. Our demographic is an older audience. Yeah, we have a, like, our main demographic is 25 to 34. Most, most people don't, like, kind of flip out when they realize we're as young as we are. Yeah. Like, we're still in our 20s. People are like, I thought you were well into your 30s. Well, our... Which our, I don't think, it, at least for me personally, it's not about how I look. They can maybe say that about you. You're, uh, looking, a little, you're looking a little old over there. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, but, but I think, I, I mean, our at. demographics is 25 to 34, yeah. number one. But our number two, this is what this is what the big difference is, is 35 plus. Our number three is, like is 18, 18 to 24. 24. So we have a massive audience that is older than the 25 year old mark so that's where most of our audience i think it's like 70 percent of our audience or more is in is 25 to 34 or 35 and plus. these people one are either like divorced already and have already like been married or they've been married long enough to where they're past that point of their yeah. relationship yeah i think we just have a lot of people who are a little bit more you know i guess you would say down to earth with some of their the, the stuff they do in their relationship you know what i mean it doesn't yeah. it's not as it's not as perfect and honestly, we don't have a perfect life, and and no. I don't think we ever will. I think we enjoy the chaos. Um, if you, I think people we hang out with the are like calm makes me antsy. Yeah, it make it like makes the hair on like the back of my neck stand up. It's too much. I if, can't. If you talk to the people that we are most commonly hanging out with or getting together or something, yeah, you, you they'll tell you like we don't have like a plan ever. Honestly, like, and that it's stresses day me by out. day. Cody, let's no, no, no. go, Cody. Does not need a plan. No, you don't do a plan either. Like, you want to plan once we've planned. It. Like, once we've what? decided. Uh, hold on. Hear me out. Once uh, we've decided we're doing something, like, let's go to the movies. Then you want to make the whole plan for it. But you're not like, okay, let's plan out a week or something. Like, you, Anthony, it's what day is your, by day. What is your opinion on this? Because I disagree with both of you. Neither of you ever have a plan. <laughs> I agree. I, I, I think it's chaos around here. It's terrible. But I love it's, it. And Anthony is a plan man. Oh, so yeah. So it is. We are like Anthony's worst nightmare. A, I don't know why he's still friends I with us. I thrive on, on like just going. I, I don't have a – I feel like I feel like the way I do things is – actually, Anthony has said this to me um, yesterday. He said my work ethic is like skydiving. <laughs> he's like the second I decide to do it. I jump out the plane, and that's and that does stress. And it's me like, sometimes. let's go, we're doing it with or without parachute. It doesn't matter. He doesn't <laughs> it doesn't care. matter. I'll it'll find a parachute along the way. No, he'll crash and burn eventually and go to sleep. Yeah, yeah. And he'll be fine. And then he'll just like pick himself up and be like, "Huh, dust himself off like he did off that scooter." Yeah, and just freaking. I think I'm gonna go find, find another plane today. Yeah, like it, what? Well, listen, I, I, and I, I don't get me wrong. It is, I have failed a ton. I think that is a, a part of me that I'm okay with. The fact I think that I failed Cody is a like lot. delusional. I think no, it's not. God, that's not. No, you are a little delusional, but you have like this I, pure, my, unadulterated confidence. Oh yeah, that oh, you yeah. can just do anything yeah. on the entire planet. Which honestly, I wish I had more of. Truthfully, I, I'm really well, jealous of that about you. I also believe that with the right like people around me. That I can do anything. No, I'm the, and I'm the opposite. I'm like I be I was like crushing it on TikTok there for a little bit, like absolutely murdering it. I'm like I'm failing. Everything is falling apart. Making yeah, fun of your husband, constantly. making fun of my husband yeah. the whole time. Yeah. Oh yeah. And, but but that I mean that is I think why we work because Leslie is always constantly like bringing me back to earth when it's like let's you know whatever idea that I have that I'm about to jump out of an airplane with, Ugh. she decides. To like bring me out. Oh, hold on, we're gonna stay on the smart, ground, you know. And and also, I think that I've I've surrounded myself with people who think differently than me, but I, I also so. respect very much and who you are as a person, yeah. and how you operate. I think so. And and that's that's like as I jump out of the airplane, I assume Anthony's gonna grab two parachutes and try to catch up. And and that's you know what I mean. Like that's that's, it. that's perfect. That's, that's verified. Yeah, you know what I mean. But he does it. He's like, like I've I've definitely do that do that with Anthony a lot. Um, and, and that is kind of the way I've always Cody been. and Anthony are in love. First off, I have many a men I'm in love with. We know. I, I was about to say, I'm not there's, the only one. Listen, there's that, more. I know. Isn't that shameful? There, Does that ever make you feel dirty? There's more men in this room that I love than women. <laughs> I've never considered that. <laughs> to make you feel dirty. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. I mean, it's definitely the way, like, I've, I've, I have a really good group of friends that I, try to stay constantly involved with even when they don't want me to be i think 
Probably. Well, and we least, talked about when we but, talked about that last week. Yeah. Whereas you're that way, I'm like the opposite. You have to like force me to message people. Yeah. To be my friend. For sure. Um, and by the way, the people you were mad at me for like who's who's send, who's sending you a bunch of messages right before the show who started? Is that? Yeah, that's a that's Mario and Adrian. Oh who, my god! No, th- those are my long distance lovers. You know. Uh, there are two people I met. Uh, hoes and different He's got hoes and different area codes. <laughs> Mario um, and Adrian are two bigger TikTokers as well. You've probably seen them at one point or another. They're you know way, much larger than I am. So uh, Leslie hates it because we have like a group chat of like sharing ideas and best practices. But they won't and, share with me, by the way. I, it's not true. It's they not don't. that we won't share. They're with gatekeeping. You. They're trying to keep Gate the what they're trying to just like a man to keep a woman oppressed. Honestly, <laughs> I'm appalled with Cody's just resolve to have two long distance side chicks. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. In the uh, same group chat, we're not enough, we're not enough for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's that I'm too much for you. Ooh. That's I what didn't it know is. you had that resolve about you. Yeah, <laughs> I do. I, listen, it, it's women. I can't handle more than one at a time. You better not. Men are so much simpler. <laughs> like you could find out. <laughs> <laughs> If I was gay, dude, I would be a player. <laughs> but straight, I can handle one woman at a time. She f- completely fills up everything I can handle. You just picked a woman like me. You could have found somebody that was a little more mild and m- mannered. No, more because you're actually individual. extremely easy. Don't get me uh, wrong. If uh, I had, if uh, I didn't have, uh, if I didn't have uh, thick skin, <laughs> then it, this would be harder. What do you mean? But because I do have thick skin. I think that means thick skin. You, uh, you're, you are just as aggressive and mean as I am. You come after me. You'll I be straight up honest. I think he's telling you, you don't hurt his feelings. No. Oh, don't no. I? No. Is that a challenge? <laughs> <laughs> she is probably the only person who could. There's a few things she could say. She probably knows them. But I would never do overall, that. Overall, yeah, you're, you're, you're definitely more of an aggressive type. If I was a really... Uh, passive guy maybe absolutely not i would eat you alive yeah. i would chew you up and spit your ass out on the ground but i definitely wouldn't i don't there's think that no that's way. what i would classify myself as as passive so uh we well, work I think, well, well together I think, well i think that was the problem though is a lot we're both more aggressive personality types and i was not seeing that reflected like no. in the tiktok feed and no. i felt badly but that's, <laughs> but that's that's how we drew some of our inspiration though yeah, you that's know true. if you think about it like we we when we were first starting to try to figure out like how to do this, we had to do a deep dive into where we can niche down yeah. and what we could do that was different. And we kept seeing over and over again couples that were doing really well and their content was great, but it just didn't feel like us. No. Not that and their content was bad. And people can see if, I don't know, maybe it's just me and maybe not everybody does, but I feel like when I see something like that and I can tell like that is not real. And I do think there are couples that really are that way that post on the internet and like that's their shtick. But I feel like if I were to post that, I it's just see you can yeah for see us it wouldn't be the, real you can see the whole you can see yeah you can it all. see through especially the our friends could you imagine how much our friends would bully us if we started posting like they already bully us as it is but like if we started posting oh my god like, yeah well you know what I, I mean? mean but that's how we that's like I said they it's, know us as that's people. where we got the inspiration to do what we do is is we didn't see it so we decided to make it that like find you know we we thought there's no way we can be alone I think in the way we are there are a couple of people that are more like comparable and they're doing it bigger, you know what I mean? Bigger TikTokers, I think than we are. I think like Alex and John do a really great Alex job. Alex and John is like my biggest inspiration. inspiration I think yeah. is because I feel the most connection to their content. They're super duper nice too. Yeah. We reached out to them and they were, and we're like, so helpful. And, no, and, and we're nice. like nobodies in like the grand scheme. Like they have, especially back then followers. Like yeah. back then we were, they were so tiny. kind and, and so they, encouraging. They got on a meeting with us, gave us like some of the best advice we've gotten and, you know, kind of just let us in on some, some secrets, I guess you could call it. Not necessarily. Secrets, I feel like just, they're similar, you know, ideas. similar in the way that like, they feel like, again, they have some skin in the game and they've been doing this and they feel like a real couple to me, but it's different. They do more like skit type content, yeah. like the reenactments, which is super funny. Well, I think we, just not, we don't do that. We saw Isaiah and Allison. Allison. She, they are my number one favorite. You like, know, but Allison that's, we, is just, you were pulling a lot of like, that's, yeah, we realized then that we could do two accounts. So like mm-hmm. we saw Alex and John and we loved their style that they were like, we've, we've, we saw, okay, th- it can that work. That feels like us. Yeah. It can feel more real. There are couples out there and there are people who react to it. So we started and to do see enjoy that. that kind of content. Then we saw, um, Allison and Isaiah, Isaiah and we realized, <laughs> you know, that two, two content, that back and forth, that, that, you know, while still maintaining their own like online identities separately. Yeah, separately. separately 
And we thought that was really where we wanted to go. And yeah. so that's, I, that was really where we, like, that's how we did it. We, 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 we knew we wanted to do couple stuff. We realized that's what people were reacting well to. And we had to figure out how to, you know, do something that was already popular, right? You can't, it's very hard to just do something nobody's ever done before. And we have, we've had videos like that. Like I've had videos and you've had videos that are like separate entities or that are not trends. They're just harder to come by. Well, no, but I mean, I'm talking about just in general, like you're the, the, the. Trying to maintain growth yeah. consistently and maintain Well, no, I'm not talking about anything. I'm talking about before you get into any of that. Okay. Just when we were talking about how we figured out we wanted to be a, you know, like how we wanted to design our accounts because that's how we yeah. had to start. We had, you had to, we had to start and realize like, okay, what is our account going to be about? Because one of the first things you learn, you know, when you start really getting into TikTok and like realizing TikTok will make you stay super focused and dialed in on like a really yeah, once focal your point. Like, audience picks what they want to see. Once that's what like blows up for you, you that's need to all figure out the a algorithm way is going to push that you need to figure out a way to replicate that without doing the exact same thing every single time, Yes, but fitting within that mold. And I fought it for a while and you that, I mean, this is what you do the best. You know what I mean? Kind of your, your strong points in like our partnership we have here is you know the research and you know the numbers and you know the analytics and you're like, listen, this is how the algorithm is working. And obviously you can't pinpoint it right every time, right? Like in terms of like right now, like the algorithm is kind of shifting and I'm like, we're having to like re go back to our roots and kind of refocus on what we were doing before. Cause we kind of got, and I got it, excited and it takes so much time. And so like, as we've yeah. developed this podcast and have been putting a lot of time into it, um, if you're not really like people may think that you could just walk up and just make videos every day and it's really simple and easy. It takes hours and hours every day to make sure you're staying on top of content, to make sure you're staying within the realm of, of what you are. So like for us couples comedy, and it still feels true you know, but to it all, you yeah, and, and new cost. and that's so like, and that's you can smart. run like, don't get me wrong. It's really smart to run a, like a, what would you call it? Like a, like a group of episodes um like a series series i don't know why that word which is gone from my brain but like you can run a series uh like we did like you you're one of your most popular things was cody have a question and we she took a chance on that we had like a good idea we'd seen some people like well i'd seen that question i'd seen like the would you love me if i was a worm question that wasn't even the first one i asked that wasn't the first one it was the billion dollars. Yeah, Would you kiss bit, me? Kiss it was the most me. beautiful Every, in the world. That was kind of popular. I saw a couple. But it didn't have like a structure yet. It was just random people kind of asking. And what we realized was. I made it. A, there was a formula If we it. kind of structured it and formulated it, we could recreate it. And, and then, so. But the key, the key is, is it's hard sometimes to let go of those series. And yeah. I love that series. But when I saw like, hey, this is not really getting the views it was anymore. Yep. Like people are tired of seeing. As like, things shift, you, you have it, to you find new things. And so it's like you have to run with the series, but you have to know when to let it go. That's like the love jar. I love yeah. doing the love jar. And people loved it. And people still ask about the love jar. But I'm like, I post it and it just doesn't. And here's the thing. At well, the end of the day, I, and I'm going to be honest, the love jar, there's only so much funny content in there. Cause a yeah, lot of it is just that's sweet. Not a forever. You know what yeah, I mean? A lot it of was, it is just there's nice only a hundred, a hundred notes in there and not all of them are sweet. We started to get down to where like, you know, we would have one or two funnies instead of five or six. And, and that it's just was not just, getting, and it's not getting the views. Yeah, and here's my thing. I do okay. like, I like posting fun stuff and I like posting what I want to post. But at the end of, but at the end of the day, this is, we post what we're this supposed is our, to this post. is our business. And I put a post yeah. what I'm supposed to post and what's going to get me views. Like I tried posting something yesterday. Again, it was a trend. Uh, that water bottle trend. People were trying to fill up like the water bottles yep. together. And I was like, oh, let's try this out, which again was still a little different than what we usually do. It was too. It was, yeah, it wasn't what that people want to see. So like for us, the trends that work are when we can, when we can take the trend and make it our own. If we don't somehow have a twist on it, it doesn't seem to work. And see, and we didn't crank the twist up enough. No. Like and I posted something. It just wasn't, it just wasn't a good video. And no. sometimes you just have flops and like the video was not oh, that yeah. good. And, and I posted and it, and after I would say two hours, rarely do we ever, views. rarely do we ever like delete a video. Like most of the time, like you don't, you know, we don't think that's good. But you just but know sometimes, sometimes you got to flop. Sometimes you know. And here's the thing: in this, I'm going to be real transparent about this. No. Like to make money, you have to have consistency. Yeah. So the way you make money on the internet, like on TikTok, is is somewhat followers. Yes, like you have to get to a certain point where you have enough followers and then, you know, that, that'll be your in, in the door. But really when you, when you start like negotiating deals and trying to figure out like how much money you can make and they're going to look at you your know, analytics, your analytics, your and, engagement and rate, they're going to look at, you know, average video of you first. So say you're getting, let's just make it really simple. A hundred thousand, um, Averaging. views per, per post. Yeah. It's just good. 
you know, you're going to be able to monetize on that. No problem. But it's also not just views. It's also how, how much engagement did you have and not just engagement, but engagement by different people. So one of the main things, and this is a common misconception is that your engagement overall is like, if you took your, say you have a video with hundred thousand views, you had, um, 20,000 likes, um, a thousand comments mm -hmm. and, uh, 500 shares. Oh. You think you add all those together and that, no, no, you have, it, you, there's softwares and things like that, that these companies are using that take your, um, your analytics and they break it down person by comments per on it person is more likely to, to share it. Comment, and more share. Yeah. So, so comment. it narrows it down to how many actual individuals instead yes. of not total, but how many individuals. And also your total watch enter. time. Yeah. If yeah. somebody, cause like on the for you page, it's what, like two seconds of being on the for you no, page. No, it's counts instant, as a view. instant. Instant. So, so if you're it, on the for you page, immediately it's swipe, but like looking at like, what yep. was your retention rate on the video? Yep. Where did people fall off? Like you can go in and look at that. Okay. They fell off 30 seconds in this minute long video. What happened at 30 seconds that lost their interest? And, and, and how can, can you I get people that? to click on a link? Yeah. You know, and, and if huge. you can prove that, which you can through like Linktree, you need to set up or, or some, you know, not just Linktree, but we use Linktree. Linktree is my favorite. But, That's what I use. Um, you you use. need to get something like that because you can share those analytics. So yeah. you can, you can prove without a shadow of doubt that if that, you know, and his, this is the big thing is when you're talking about like making brand content, Yeah. you have two types of brands that we found. There's not, there's just two types that, that want what they want. And types that say, you know your audience. And those videos it. are going to perform better every, every single, single time. I have talked to creators. I have lots of mutual. And they don't just the perform app. better for us. They perform better for the company. For the brand overall. But when it feels there are organic some, to my content. There are some companies who are just so... And I, it's listen, so frustrating. I'll talk crap. I'm about to talk crap about some of these people. There are these people who have jobs at these companies. Who graduated with a four-year degree in something. Who've never had any type of social media. And they'll reach out to you. And tell you, you need to do this, this, and this. This is a good way of, of doing content. And Respectfully, I have, I sir. Literally, I've, you don't know what the I've said fuck you're talking about. <laughs> I, I said, why, you know, that's not going to work. And they try to come back and you're like, no, I'm not asking you. You know, do, do you have some sort of an online presence? Are you, you know. Do you a, know my audience? Large, are you a large, you have large following? No, no, you don't. Then you don't if, actually and if you know. If you could, you would. Because it's it's a fantastic thing to have. Having an audience is fantastic. We're so grateful for it mm -hmm. because you're able to do not just like you know having an outlet and 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 that there is some there is it's really cool to have Which people you can interact with. But that's how you make money. That's how you can sell yeah. your own stuff. I mean, there's just so many things you can do when you have the ability to to have an audience. So when you have these these you know 22 year old kids who think they know everything about social media because they went and got some degree trying to tell you or they just grew up with it because here's the thing there's not mean? that like, many people who actually know what we do and how to do it and i will say it's it, it's not easy to learn no but once you do learn and like i said we put in so much hours to actually figure out what it is mm -hmm. we're talking about and so when somebody tells me who has absolutely no idea what they're talking about that you need to post a video that does this, this, and this, and this, and you started out like this and you better make sure the content is first two seconds I tell and all people, this. I'll go, listen, and I'm like, okay, fine. You want your video to suck. And here's the thing. I'll go back and forth for a few emails, right? And yeah. if they're like dead set, you know what? That's fine. You're going to pay me anyway. At the end of the day, if your video gets 10,000 views, that's like, there's nothing I can do about that, yeah. which is shitty because then I lose that contact. You know what I mean? That well, brand's no, not going to come back to me. But then I don't want to work with them again yeah. anyway. It's, if, it's frustrating. My videos that perform the best are brands that are like, listen, you know, you're obviously we have certain guidelines yeah. you need to fit. There is a, there is a, fine. there's a brand. And I, I mean, I don't even care about talking to them. I'll, t I'll say the name right here. Bold Shaper is a long-term partnership of Leslie's and they give her complete, complete freedom. They don't care when she posts. They don't care what she posts. They don't care anything as long as if people she are going and it. clicking on that we affiliate don't have if people to are clicking on that affiliate that link affiliate and buying link stuff is the most clicked thing on her link tree every single week. Also that affiliate link makes me more money than what a brand like paying me per yeah. video ever makes. And and that's that's because they it's a good brand. Like don't get me wrong. Well, I we've, use the product. I have, some, I'm literally you know, wearing like this is not like uh, this is not supposed to be like an ad. There is like, no I ads wear, on I'm wearing our the product I'm wearing right now. No. But I'm wearing if if you want to be Listen, brands, if you're here, if you're listening right now, I'm doing a plug right now. Shut up. Brands, if you're listening, you're going to be featured in Red, the Rose of Us Red podcast. Red Bull's already getting featured. Red Bull's getting featured for free. This is a free one. You're welcome. Um, but no, like I'm wearing literally the little sticky we bar We can build right a now. studio, Red Bull. You'll call it the Red Bull Studio. I'll call it whatever the hell you, I'll call it, listen, I'll call it whatever you want. 
Listen, I just saw recently <laughs> that that um, Tom Segura, they offered. The, They're so funny. No, 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 no. Listen, they were building a studio for their podcast, right? Mm-hmm. And McDonald's reached out to him. It was like, hey, we'll give you $100,000. Hell yeah. Right? He said, no, absolutely not. Like, I'm, I have morals. Uh, and Tom. He built, told him no. Eight weeks later, when they're still kind of like working on it, getting mm-hmm. all everything done, they reached back out. Okay, 500000 Tom said, no. I, I'm, we're not doing that. We, we have a design already. So now the plans have already been drawn. They're about to start. <laughs> His agent reached back out to him. He's like, so McDonald's. And McDonald's was like, or he's like, dude, I thought we were talking to McDonald's. I'm not doing it. And then he simply said $2.3 million. And then the, the 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 video that I was watching zooms out, and they're eating McDonald's. In there. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, dude, that's everything. You know, ha- but two point three million dollars. We're God, okay. Ooh. They're also like, listen, Red. Will you give me for- like ten dollars? I'll put a sign up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you can give me any money at all. You can buy me. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got those morals. Like Tom Secret doesn't have morals. Tom Secret has money. He might have morals too. But like, let me tell you right now. In, when you're a millionaire, it's easy to turn. I don't ever want to. I don't ever want to lie for a brand. Like that's not what I'm talking about. Like that is. No, I will never. I'm no, not going to lie for a brand ever. He's a, your he's credibility a, as an influencer is is massive for you. Like yeah. Well, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when you when he's got millions of dollars. So 100k is not going to change his life. No, he doesn't give a fuck. So if McDonald's, you want, McDonald's, McDonald's, I will put on clown makeup. I will <laughs> be, <laughs> listen to me. I will. You be, can call me Ronald. I will eat it. For enough money, we'll the change the name. You've got the kind of the white going on. I think it's Listen, fine. I'll, I'll eat tell a Big Mac every single episode. Give me a six, a, a ten piece chicken nugget with some buffalo and some ranch and a crispy can, Dr Pepper. I'm I sold. can hear the introduction already. Just ba, 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 ba. <laughs> coming, coming to you live from <laughs> the McDonald's <laughs> studio. That's what that no that was the Justin Timberlake. That's what played in the in the Tom Segura movie. This could be the Ronald, they, right they, this right could be the Ronald out, McDonald house. Right as they zoomed <laughs> out, they clicked the button. It was the Justin Timberlake. <laughs> da, 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 da. I'm loving it. And I was like, dude, that was awesome. But and this is why million? Cody does what he does because he makes the money and I get to be the creative and have all the fun ideas and then Cody gets to kind of read me back in oh, and bring me oh, back yeah. down to reality. Well, and I think that's, we definitely have different roles. No, for sure. Oh my we God. We definitely have different roles out. of... <laughs> Give your balls a Listen, tug. Listen, what do you want me to do? I did everything. Excuse me. Leaned away. <laughs> Figure out your bodily Listen, functions. I will pull this down and fart into the mic. <laughs> I'm not scared. <laughs> no, but we definitely play different roles in the in shit show. The shit show that we've got going on. God. You know, you definitely are the more the creative. You come up with like majority of. So it's kind of funny because it, it, there, it, we both have some creativity. We both have some like business, like what we do. So for Leslie, Leslie is fantastic at, at like cold calling brands. Oh, I don't, I don't give a She shit. will DM a brand that she likes and be like, look, I'd love to work with you, you know? Make and, me an offer. <laughs> but no, it's, it's brilliant because <laughs> she's so real and she's, <laughs> know. you know, yeah. I literally don't know who this person is. <laughs> yeah, and she, yeah. You DM from your account, <laughs> read them and weep. Look at them followers. No, but that's what you do. You DM them followers. and and she's so good about like just DMing a brand Acting really, really, you know, real, chatting them up, hey, making, really? them wanna, <laughs> making them want to, oh my God, <laughs> making them want to work with you. And at the same time, most of the time we have like an idea. Anthony is putting up the clock countdown. <laughs> Anthony has an idea of, of, um, working with, and you just threw me completely I'm sorry, off. he was pulling up the timer. I know, you didn't have up. to. I don't know why. Like Anthony that's simple, like it's not that big a Anthony deal. Anthony has no. an idea of doing what? I have no idea. I completely derailed this. Yeah, derailed the, whole thing. the entire thing. <laughs> well, now that nobody has any idea what we were talking about, <laughs> let's just move on. <laughs> let's go to let's go to Anthony's segment. Anthony is going to interview us. I'm like a squirrel. It's like a squirrel. he has he has some some funny questions or good questions. I don't know. I honestly don't. Know we what don't know what the questions are. I'm are nervous, Anthony. But he wanted to do an interview segment. So oh god. Here we go. So Cody and Les. Okay. Yes. In the last year. What have you learned about yourself or your significant other through making videos online? Oh, oh, interesting. Who's answering first? You want me to answer first? So are we, wait, what I learned about him or what he learned or what I, about myself? Both. What you Both. have learned like about you, yourself you go first. or him. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Answer how you want. Okay. So I would say what I've learned about myself is I don't like a lot of camera time. Like, I don't like reviewing myself on footage. <laughs> like, we learned that last night. No, and no, I've been that way for a while. Like, 
I hate having to like watch myself because I think I'm too big of a critic. I think I'm I'm I I critique myself too hard. And so like when I watch anything, I'm like, oh, this is gonna suck. And uh sure enough, it it most of the time doesn't and it does well. But uh yeah, I definitely thought I would the confidence I thought I had, you put a camera on me and then make me watch that. It's all gone. The completely. more you watch it, does it just get worse and yes. worse? So no, because it feels like I critique it. it too much. Like I feel like I'm like I gotta redo it. I gotta do this or that or differently. And I, so what I've done now is like I feel like I've got the right take. I'll watch it one time and then I'm posting it and I just believe that I've learned enough and that I I kind of got things under control. And that, you know, that's like I when I take that. a super freaking awesome selfie and I post it on Instagram and then I stare at it too long until I hate it and I'm like, oh my god, why does it look this way? <laughs> that's what you do with your videos and that's why it takes you 22 takes to film. Like sometimes, oh, it takes me a lot of takes because most of the time I mess up within three seconds like the camera turns on i start I'm like uh, uh what was i gonna say you know and then it's just over and over until like i'm like learning it almost and as i'm I go. the opposite yeah. like nine times one out take of, one of nine times out of ten my first take typically it doesn't always happen but typically will be my best take and it will get worse the more i do and i would it. say the only time that i that i can do one takes are when i'm interacting like with you if i go and i like if I'm videoing you or videoing a reaction or if I'm doing something like that, it just feels like it comes The naturally. most authentic, yeah. Yeah. But when, but when I'm trying to do like one of those videos where I'm just talking to the audience and stuff that, that does well for me, it is, uh, it's so hard for me to do it without what have like you, messing What have up. you learned about me? Uh, that there is a possibility of divorce. No, I'm just kidding. Oh my God. <laughs> Golly. No, no. Honestly. Oh my God. Honestly, that, I, that I, I never thought I'd want you as like a business partner, but now I wholeheartedly do. Oh, so. that's actually really nice. Wow. I mean, it's kind of a slap to your face first, yeah, but then it's like, you know, it's growth, you know? <laughs> it is. No, I mean, I didn't think we would work well together. No, in I like didn't either. And like capacity. we definitely have. We fight it, a lot about It's fitting that that's stuff. a backhanded compliment. It does, but I'll take what I can get. Listen, the fact that he even said that, I'm going to take and move. No, it, it because it, in it my is. Pocket. <laughs> All right. Well, Keep what about safe. you? What did you learn? Um, about myself? And or me, about yeah, you? Both? I've learned that I need to better relinquish control of things and listen to other people's opinions more. Because I get in my own head and I get, uh, this is super honest, I get real selfish about that kind of stuff and I want it to be me, 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 me. And guess what? It's better when it's not just myself doing it. And that was like a hard, like, introspective lesson I had to learn about myself. I found that, like, I was in competition with you on things that I was like, why are we, why am I feeling threatened by your success on TikTok. Like we can both be successful and that's okay. That's even better if we're both doing this successfully. But I felt like it had to be my thing, I guess, because I was posting online first. Like I've always had a social media presence, even though I wasn't taking it seriously off the bat. I felt like it was, this is my baby. Like, why are you coming in? And all it did was help and then make our content even better. So like I had to like get rid of all that like nastiness and I still deal with it like I'm still like if my your video is doing better than mine sometimes like I get like the twins of jealousy I'm like let's see pull your head out of your asshole it is like you cannot be that way that is so not healthy pretty much um, never happens either so I don't know how she's like I am definitely does happen definitely a step down from but no, I mean, I'm, well this is being honest like we had several talks like I like had I, I don't know and this it feels even like awful to say oh it was myself, it was the like, time that I, I got more the first time I got more views I remember that and that's so ugly, like to even like to even admit that but about you, myself. But you, but you weren't aggressive to me about it. You, you informed me that you were feeling kind of like that. I just don't. But, but you I, weren't. You weren't. Uh, you weren't hateful about it. You were like, "Look, I'm I am struggling with this. I got to figure out how to get it out of my own head." So it wasn't like, "Oh, Cody, I'm so tired of you." you I were, think you it just really came cool from a it. place of like because I've never worked and I've always been in my own head. I've been a stay at home mom, right? So like, I've I feel. Like, I've always had a hard time with, like, my own value is, like, what I contribute to, like, this marriage and, like, to society in general as being a stay-at-home mother, which is super noble. If you were a stay-at-home mom and you were watching or you're listening today, like, you are doing something so incredibly important and don't ever, ever diminish, like, your value of what you are you are bringing to the table. I've made a couple videos on TikTok but about in that, too. My own, But in my own, and that's easier said than done, right? Because in my own brain, I'm like, well, my husband has this job and is providing financially and is doing all of these things and has this whole life outside of just being in this home, and I did it. So I felt like once I was getting that, I was like, oh, this is my thing. Like, I'm finally going to have my own thing. And I'm like, no, like, that's the thing. Like, none of this is we're married. Like, we're in this together no matter what. It's funner so when it's our thing. It's funner. It is. I have more fun. And that's what, like... That's kind of what you said about me is what I was going to say about you. Like, I love doing this with you. Like, you are so much Don't more. Don't be cheap. You can't use no, no, no. my thing. Honestly, I've learned that you're a lot more creative. 
than I thought you were. Like, I, you do have a lot, and I've always known you were, like, funny. Like, you've always made me laugh. But, like, you're a lot funnier than I even, like, realize, like, to other people. Again, I'm your wife. I think your jokes are funny anyway. But, like, I, you know what I mean? Like, you're well, just yeah. better at the creative aspect than I ever thought you would be. Because that's I, always been my thing. I'll agree with you. I didn't think I was going to be very good at that. But, you are. You're great but at I've, it. But I also consume, so, like, the we talked about how much media I'm able to consume. And I think this is, is it's very different than than a lot of people. And like Anthony even said this yesterday when we were going over the editing of of our last episode. Uh, he was like, you're not like people won't get it. People like you said it. Leslie said it. I said it. Cody consumes a lot of, of TV and media. I consume more than you probably think. And I don't know how I fit it all into a day. I, I genuinely don't. Um, you just but don't I, sleep. Yeah, I don't. I, I, yeah. Just go until you crash. Yeah. And, and it's probably not going to be something i can do forever but until i'm older i guess it still works anthony what is your next question but yes i feel like we went down a rabbit hole on that one a little bit yeah but that's okay that's i mean that's okay. what the point of it is so you both know i love games okay. yes in regards to your relationship what poker moves or tactics do you use on your significant other other on a daily basis Poker moves? Uh -huh. I don't know anything okay. about poker. Yeah, Leslie's not going to know anything oh, about it. Come on. I do. I'll, I'll answer got, this I've question. Got another, I got another okay. one. Okay, 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 fine. Let's do it. Sometimes my relationship is like dominoes. Other times, it's like trouble. What game are you currently in? Monopoly. Mo <laughs> <laughs> so quick. <laughs> Our relationship is Monopoly? We're making money and making moves, baby. What is even happening? I, I don't know. <laughs> That's just what came to my brain Monopoly. <laughs> I just didn't even moves. finish getting the question. Not Monopoly. No, Monopoly. Monopoly. <laughs> Yahtzee. Yahtzee. Why? Yahtzee. Yahtzee. I feel like we're just kind of lucky you... sometimes. Lucky? So, no. I didn't know Yahtzee was lucky. I, didn't... I mean, yeah. I guess it kind of is. Yahtzee is yeah. a lot of luck. It's not only luck, though, is it? Minesweeper. Minesweeper. We don't know what the fuck we're doing, <laughs> but we're doing it. Damn it! You actually know the rules of Minesweeper? No. But so, I like, used we're to talking play about board games. Just it games. Can be Ad lib. Ad libs. What's that game? Mad libs. Mad, Mad, libs. Mad libs. I feel like because like. <laughs> what? So you know how the game. I don't I know, know if that's what it's works. called. Is it? Is yeah, it Mad yes. Libs? Where some one person saying something, you're trying to figure out what in the heck they're no, trying to say. No, that's Mad Gab. Mad Gab. That's what I was talking about. The hearing. This is what it is. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. This is it. This is it. This is it. That's because we do like right now. There is so much just debate about what we're doing and how we're doing it and critiquing. And there's so many times where like we're be in like a mini argument and we realize we've been saying the same thing in different ways. And it's like, Oh, why? Oh, well, fuck you for having the right answer. First of all. So I, now I Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I thought about it before I spoke. <laughs> it's called a filter. You're supposed to have one. That's, Monopoly. Never, been, that's never been my strong suit. No, let's I be agree honest. with you there. All, All right. right. <laughs> All right, Anthony. Next, I'm standing my God with Monopoly. Is, sorry. <laughs> okay, my last question. Okay. What kind of energy do you think you give off individually? What kind of energy? Like, yeah, are we talking about like a, like a, an animate object? Like I give off like, or like a dog or something? So if you were to watch your videos... Completely isolated from your own opinion. What's How the would vibe? other? What kind of? What's the vibe? Yeah. What's the vibe? Oh, what's the vibe? Oh. I feel like I'd be super. I feel like I'd be. I feel like I'd be super annoying. I'd be like, oh my god, this woman just doesn't shut. Wait, what? Cody doesn't want to say what he thinks. Yeah. What? What's the energy I give off, Cody? Please enlighten me. No, no, the no, no. Listen. Share with the class. I was this more, is even better. This is even better. This is better. Anthony more, said he... This is even better. What kind of energy does she give off? Yes. <laughs> what kind of energy? What kind of energy do I give off, Cody? I'd love to know. Uh, you... Oh, um, uh... <laughs> So oh, I appreciate you guys stop by the podcast. <laughs> no, 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 no. We are waiting, sir. Oh, I know. <laughs> listen, listen. I think that you give off, like in on your page, if you go look, you give off. <laughs> Just say it. Say it with your chest. Only wrong, <laughs> so, only wrong oh, answers. Don't be a Yeah, bust. only wrong. No. So I think if you were to give off energy, I think you give off energy of, of, Somebody who wants to be trendy, but also wants 
to be honest, like at the same time, like you're you're constantly in battle. That was a cop out answer. No, 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 I'm serious. Like you, it feels like you're like constantly like I want to be, I want to be like because like one video you post will be real and honest, and then like the next video where you just trying to thirst trap people, knowing you're <laughs> married brutal. and and it gets like views. have a. It, I'm not saying it doesn't. I'm just I'm like that's what you have like, such a. Different... Do you have an issue with my thirst trap videos? No, but it, you have like it's it's <laughs> they feel so different to each other like one video to the next can have such a different feel where like i don't think my videos ever feel any different no like, it's okay let's pause like right they're there. one dimension leslie what kind of energy does cody give off <laughs> <laughs> return it is, fire it is straight middle-aged dad energy Dang, he's not even percent. 30 not even 30 yet no but it's mid- you no but tell me cody doesn't give off middle-aged dad energy tell me i'm wrong I mean, I mean, you but, but, si- right. but simultaneously, teenage boy, teenage well, boy. That's, that is that's just middle aged men. They, yeah, that's they just middle aged men. <laughs> yeah, Cody, you no, give middle aged men. But yeah, I, and I think so, I'm a lot more one dimensional than you are. So teenage boy with On the dad internet. rock happening. Dad, in the back. Yes, he yes. listens to dad rock dad for rock. show, <laughs> for show, for show. You don't want to tell that story about my. And now he even so has. And now he even <laughs> has. And now even it has his quarter life crisis. Like I told you, you think. I probably know. it's a tough you one. You can't say this. You size. cannot tell. No, but it, <laughs> now, you brought, now you brought it up, so the people are going to be like, "What I story find. are you talking hey, about?" Hey, maybe maybe prompt them with if if I get like a hundred requests to reveal the story. Yeah, the yeah. Let's let, yeah, because I'm not. If y'all really want to hear the story, it's real funny. It's it's pretty. <laughs> It's so well, funny. Listen, I'll give you just a little bit. I think my car might be racist. That's all. <laughs> that's the, that's your that's title. it. And and there's an episode title. If y'all really want to hear how, <laughs> you can, you can look it up. Thank you guys for making this far on the podcast. This was fun. I, I mean, I think we're done today. Yeah. Episode two's a wrap. I think this was even better than episode one. I hope. Hopefully, I'm not speaking out of turn. Our audience agree, and our audience agrees. Y'all do us a favor. Leave a review. Again, I say, unless it sucks. Um, follow us, like, subscribe, share um, to your friends, and we get to keep uh, having fun every week. So, thank you guys for coming. Thank y'all. Talk to y'all next time. Oh, 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 oh,